Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Amps and today I wanted to show you how to fix this nice smoothie maker which my wife gave me for fixing but before making this video I cleaned it and it magically started working but it doesn't mean we shouldn't test it and look inside so let's go for it The safety button was probably stuck and that's why it didn't work before. You must put it all together, otherwise it won't work. Here are parameters. It was made in Germany. It draws 180 watts and should be connected to mains at 50 Hz. This is interesting, because this plastic part was made in China. There is a little over voltage in my socket and voltage drop when it's running about 2 volts. As you can see, there is a 50 Hz in my socket. When it is not running, it draws 80 milliamps, and when it's running, it draws 0 0.43 amps. Now I'm going to measure wattage with a empty smoothie maker. and it's about 100 now I'm going to do the same measurement but I put some food in it yeah and this time it's completely different story several times more when it's empty. And now you can compare it. I couldn't help and I had to check on the internet the user manual and it also says that maximum power consumption is 180 watts. I'm going to open it and maybe I get more information about the motor which is inside. I had to buy this special set of screwdrivers because it's impossible to get into it. It's quite difficult to open it. Yeah, and the second one. Okay. Yes, nice. Ah, uh, there are more screws. And this part is very tricky. Yeah. After three hours of trying, <laughs> I was able to take it apart. And 
and here it is yeah and as you can see there is a, again the value 180 watts I couldn't help and I checked on the internet that type of motor and they say that value it's output power so the explanation of our first mystery is very easy they just mixed input and output power they didn't realize that on the motor the value means output power okay the first mystery explained and let's move to the next one before explaining the next mystery I prepare this small experiment you can see current which flows through the motor when it's running without load it's about 18 milliamps and when I touch it and the motor slows down it's much more current yeah you can see it jumps up and again and now you can see the difference when it's running without load and when it's stopped yeah it jumps from 18 milliamps to 300 yeah 350 and the question is why for jumping current up and down is responsible counter electromotive force or it's also called counter or back voltage when speed of the motor is zero counter voltage is also zero but current is at its maximum calculating current is very easy you can use ohm's law vi is input voltage of the source vc is counter voltage of the motor and R is internal resistance of the motor when motor speed is zero then counter voltage is also zero and current is high when the speed of the motor is at its maximum then counter voltage is almost the same like input voltage and therefore current is very low I hope you enjoyed this video and in the next video I'm going to show you the motor itself.